few Australian rock bands shone so brightly or disappeared so suddenly as the Sunny Boys. The group's rise and mysterious breakup in the 80s is only now being told through a documentary that will premiere this weekend as the reformed Sunny Boys perform at Sydney's Opera House. The film explains how the band's talented singer-songwriter Jeremy Oxley has suffered deeply from mental illness. Michael Vincent reports. Raised on the New South Wales north coast, one brother played guitar, the other played the bass. They were barely out of their teens when they had a major Australian hit. When we made our first EP and that sold really well and then we had record companies chasing us, I think that's when we sort of realised that, well, this is, you know, something that we're going to be doing full time. But that success only lasted a few years. Peter's brother Jeremy Oxley, the band's frontman, was in trouble. Show some discipline. I'll show you mine. It wasn't aggressive, but it was something that you, you were noticing. Um, hello, I'm Jeremy Oxley from Sunny Boys, and this is my brother Peter. Hi. And uh, we're going to preview our latest single, it's called Love in a Box. When it really hit home was when we were in Adelaide and Love in a Box was on countdown and when the clip came on, Jeremy said, that's not how it sounds. Somebody, someone's sabotaged that. That's, you know, we've, it's been sabotaged. Um, and I said, no, no, that, that is how it sounds. So I went, oh goodness, something is terrible here. Love in a box, you trap it inside. Love in a box, you trap it inside. The band dissolved in 1984, and Jeremy's condition continued to deteriorate. He walked around Sydney for three days with his jaw broken, thinking that, oh, you know, that'll be okay. It's like a bruise or something. A new documentary reveals Jeremy Oxley's life with schizophrenia. I don't understand it either. I don't know what it is. I just think it's, it's bullshit. I've never understood schizophrenia. I have no idea what, what it is. Here, put your strides down. He needs regular medication, which he receives from his wife, Mary. I hate injections. Very brave. I'll just put a band-aid on that for you. How important is that relationship he now has with his wife? Oh, that's, that's you know, <laughs> that's, that's, you know, you, you, there's no words to describe that, how lucky he is. <laughs> Sorry, baby. I, I thought I was a really good guy. You are. But I'm not a schizophrenic. Yeah, you are. But that doesn't make you a bad person. You're, I think you're a schizophrenic. I think it takes what one to no one. What's a schizophrenic thing to say? I think it takes one to no one. For Peter Oxley, it's hard to talk about when he took his brother to a mental health hospital more than two decades ago. Now they're playing together again. I can't, I can't even play any of them. I've got to relearn all of them. I've got to learn, learn them with the other blokes. I always end up in the lunatic asylum whenever I hang around with Peter. I end up in the lunatic asylum whenever I hang around with Peter. I end up in the lunatic asylum whenever I hang around with Peter. Peter. You don't want to hurt Peter, him Peter, by saying, Peter. you know, Jeremy has mental health problems because it's the words that can be used to describe these illnesses they're not very attractive words and they they also conjure up ideas of, of danger and of, of hurt and of maiming and you know killing and I think that's where we need to try and I don't know maybe say look it's you know one percent or even 0.05 percent of schizophrenics uh, 
truly dangerous. Fellow band member Richard Bergman is loving having the Sunny Boys back. His, his face lights up and his shoulders go back and he stands up straight and his guitar sits on his tummy and he just plays like a demon. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, re it's really fun. I mean, and whereas 30 years ago when we played together, we were a little more insular, but now we seem to share the stage better. I mean, I do it with Jeremy and I love that. He'll come <laughs> and sit, stand next to me and I'm going to sit next to him and put our backs against each other and, and it's like we're there for each other. I love that part of it. It's really enjoyable. This Sunday, the Sunny Boys documentary will be played at the Opera House before they perform together once more. Michael Vincent, Lifeline.